Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I'm back with the second part of the journal page I was working on. Once I uh, stopped the video, I did a few more things because I felt like it just needed something else. I put these beautiful circle stamps using the big lid that I keep on my desk and I used this gold distress paint by Ranger. That's Tim Holtz and I made the cutest thing. I wanna to talk to you real quickly before I leave. I have to go somewhere in a few minutes. I, I'm so serious about keeping up with what the universe sends to me this year, and I am definitely serious about purging. That's a word that Mary used in her comment, and that's something that I had been thinking about. Um, and decluttering, that's, that is also definitely too much clutter. I love stuff. I love to be surrounded by stuff. We probably all know that and I think a lot of us are like that. It's why we're drawn to junk journaling. But it can reach a point to where I can't even see what's in front of me. And this year I want to work on just having the things that really inspire me and add to my art instead of taking away from it. I stamped this tag that I cut out from just an off cutting of a manila folder. And on the front, I stamped found items with the little locking alphabet stamps. These are awesome. I love these. I don't know what brand this is. I bought these used. Uh, Gail, I think you recently asked about these. And I did see some sets on Amazon, but I'm not sure what brand this is. So I can't speak specifically to any brand that's listed on Amazon. Um, but getting back to this, so here are the items so far that I've been very appreciative of or just, you know, unexpectedly surprised, delighted. On January 1st, I found the rusty washer in a parking lot. On the 2nd, and I didn't bring it out here with me, I meant to, uh, but I'll show you next time. A friend of mine, we were talking, the last time we ran into each other at the scrap exchange, I was showing her my hands. Um, we were talking about how our hands get really chapped and cracked this time of the year and I always get the splits in the ends of my fingernails, you know, or ends of my fingers right next to the fingernail. Just tiny little splits in the skin and who knew something so tiny could be so painful. But my friend told me that they had made a batch of hand salve and they had one left over and were just waiting on the perfect person to give it to. Um, they said that they knew somebody would just appear on the horizon and it would be like, oh yeah, this needs to go to that person. So I was gifted with that beautiful hand salve and already it's made a difference. The third thing is, oh, I love this, this flat bottle cap. And I found this, I decided to clean out my purse and I keep it pretty clean most of the time, but you know how things just end up floating around in the bottom. I don't know when I picked this up. I don't remember if this was from a walk along the Eno or from a parking lot, but it is a flattened bottle cap. And I know how hard they are to completely flatten. This one's got a B on it, it's rusty, it's got gorgeous color. So that's going in here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where yet, but look how that ties in. And I should scan it. It would be beautiful in a collage, a digital collage page. Uh, Ah, uh, and the fourth thing. So here we are on the fourth. We had a huge salad last night. Really good. We have both been craving fresh vegetables and fruit. I ran the juicer this morning and made us some, some juice. But we had a huge salad with black olives, feta cheese, um, a yellow bell pepper, and uh, what else? We had a fresh avocado. This morning though, I noticed this label on the can and I just, I don't know, those black olives kind of jumped out at me. And I love to put trash and recyclables into my journals. It's just, it's the way that, it's what works for me. I'm gonna be doing a video soon on the, the two primary journals I keep most of the time. My two main, main sources of, um, of paper for writing on, I'll put it that way. And here we are, what is the other thing? Oh, a paper bag. This is what some Bordeaux came in and 
I just decided to keep that bag to make a pocket and we'll do something special with that bag. Maybe not even a pocket, maybe something totally different. That's where I am at this point. I'm gonna put these over to the side. This came off of a wine label, highly recommended. And that was also a Bordeaux. I'm gonna slide this back under here. We've got our little bird. I can't think of anything else to show you on this page right now. Um, I did color around the edge of the butterfly. I like the way that turned out. I used one of the Neo Color uh, watercolor crayons for that. Ended up painting over that a, a little bit with the gesso. Everything seems dry now. So we're on to the next page. I've already gotten started on that. I don't like to waste anything, so when I dumped out my old water from where I keep my brushes, which is probably, t it's totally wrong to let them sit in the water. I, I, if they're tiny little delicate brushes, I try to always take them out, but for the most part, my brushes just have to, they have to just basically tolerate me. But when I poured it out, it left this sort of chalky, the, the drags, and I know you know what I'm talking about, but I just painted that all over both of these pages. I love that color. And uh, that was also mixed with some leftover gold distress paint from where I put the circles over here. I'm gonna stop for now because I'm on my way out the door in a little bit. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, hang around, we're gonna do a lot of stuff in 2021. And I'm going to try to share this journey of decluttering and welcoming items from the universe. I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.